Alright, not gonna pad for time here, not gonna leave you hanging. The best weapon in the game right now isn't even a weapon. It's the battalion's backup. Oh, but Zesty, you already made a video talking about the soldier banners. We don't need you to yell at us again. Look, I know I've already made two videos talking about the battalion's backup, but I don't think I've ever fully demonstrated just how good this item is. Now, in my opinion, the battalion's backup is the best item in the game right now. Better than any weapon, utility, or melee. And here's why. This sucks! Oh, I see you looking. Hit it, Doc. Why is the battalion's backup the best item in the game? Why is it not a damage dealing item? Now, the reason for this is because the battalion's backup is a stopgap against every single damage source in the game. Looking at the stats, and we can see that this item does several things. After dealing 600 damage, the battalion's backup can provide a 10 second buff for the soldier and his nearby teammates that grants the following. Full critical hit resistance, a 50% damage resistance to sentry guns, and a 35% resistance to all other damage types. Plus, it provides the soldier with a passive 20 HP base health bonus. Okay, I'm gonna take a couple of steps back here, and we will get back as to why this banner is the best item in the game, but in order to give you the full picture of what this item can do, let's break down the banner stats in proper order. The first stat we have is that 35% damage resistance against all damage sources. Right away, this stat isn't accurate. It says... 35% damage reduction from all other sources, aside from sentries. But what this banner actually does is reduce all incoming damage by 35% of its base, ignoring damage ramp up and fall off on weapons that have it. Let me explain. As an example, let's take a fairly well-known damage source that has ramp up and fall off. Soldier Rockets. A normal rocket does 90 damage at its base. Maximum ramp up, that is, point blank range, makes a rocket do 112 damage. Maximum fall off makes a rocket only do 48 damage. Now, while under the effects of the battalion's backup, you will only take 58 damage from a rocket that's fired from base damage range. This is an accurate 35% reduction, since 35% of 90 is 31.5, which is then rounded up to 32 because damage is always rounded up to the nearest whole number in the presence of a decimal in TF2, and 90 minus 32 is 58. But at point blank range, the rocket deals 81 damage. This is a roughly 28% damage reduction, not 35%, but that's because only 35% of the rocket's base damage was removed. 112.5 minus 32 is 80.5, which is then rounded up to 81. The same thing happens at long range. The rocket now does a mere 16 damage, which is a roughly 65% damage reduction, not 35%. But again, the battalion's backup removed 35% of the base damage. 48 minus 32 is 16. So the battalion's backup has this scaling damage reduction with increased distance from the attacker, so it's never a fixed 35% reduction, unless you are at base damage range or if you are being attacked by a weapon with no damage ramp up or fall off. For instance, a grenade launcher will always deal 65 damage at any range against the battalion's backup, which is 35% less. The same goes for all other weapons with no damage ramp up or fall off, like pyro flares, sniper rifles, huntsman arrows, etc. etc. With this somewhat misleading stat aside, just to help you visualize how much damage you can absorb, let's take a look at every class's health pool and how they change under the backup's buff. Here is the normal base health of every class in the game. 
Along with overhealing, under the effects of a battalion's backup, and assuming only base damage is being dealt, you will have a 35% reduction against all damage types. A quick calculation, which is just base health divided by 1 minus the percent reduction, reveals just how much damage is now required to bring you down. And it's a lot. More than a medic's overheal. But what about that weird behavior with damage fall off? After some experimentation with various range scaling damage weaponry, I found that at point blank range, the backup's damage reduction drops to anywhere between 20 and 28%, depending on the weapon being used against you. So let's take the average at 24%. With a 24% reduction, the health pools are dropped but are still considerably larger than base health. But what about maximum fall off? With the same experimentation, it was revealed that the backup's reduction increases significantly to around 65% reduction against weapons with fall off and running the numbers and you basically cannot die at far range. So we've gone through all of this to prove one single point about the 35% damage reduction. You and your team become incredibly hard to kill without some serious focus fire. A well-coordinated push using a battalion's backup is very difficult to stop especially if the enemy team isn't close or organized enough to deal increased damage. Not to mention, sentries won't be of much help in slowing them down either. On that note, the battalion's backup also provides a 50% damage reduction against sentries while under its effects. This basically doubles your health against sentry guns, giving you and your team more time to deal with it. But this stat is also misleading. That 50% reduction only applies to a sentry gun's bullets. Damage from sentry rockets is is only reduced by 35% and is also affected by damage fall off in the exact same way normal rockets are. Kind of weird. But the single greatest thing about the battalion's backup, baby, is that it 100% negates critical hits from every possible source. And that crit negation stacks with that 35% damage reduction. Haha, uh -huh. your crit screen does nothing, you bitch! For example, a normal sniper rifle headshot does 150 damage without charge. Under the effects of a battalion's backup, a headshot does 33 damage. 33. So not only is that crit tripling of damage removed from 150 to 50, but that 35% reduction is also applied, removing an additional 17 damage. Every other critical hit in the game also gets the same treatment. The damage is treated as a normal shot, then it's reduced by 35%. Oh yeah, this isn't stated in the description, but the battalion's backup blocks many crits as well, from every source. And you my bitch! Headshots? Gone. Air blast reflex? Nope. Reserve shooter? Nada. Crit pyro flares? No sir. Backscatter? Nope. Criticola? Uh-uh. Backburner? Also gone. Market gardeners? Gone too. Mini crits taken with the escape plan? No worries. Gone. Direct hit air shots? Gone. Huntsman headshots? Nope. Extinguisher? Gone. Bushwhacka? Gone. Buff banner, crit screaks, jurati, scorch shot, detonator, fan of war, ambassador, diamondback, fucking cow mangler, charge shots? All fucking gone. And the best freaking thing about it! No random crits. The battalion's backup is the biggest middle finger you could possibly give to the most flawed and despised mechanic in this video game. No more snipers and medics walking at you with their melee out because they know the game is going to deliver a free one-shot kill for them. No more across the map crockets or crit pipes that wipe your team off the map. No more surprise heavies that suddenly unleash laser beams into your sternum. You fuck random crits in the mouth with this damn backpack. Damn, I love this thing. This all sounds great, doesn't it? Too bad the banner only lasts for 10 seconds, after you deal 600 damage and you sacrifice a secondary to use it. But that's the beauty of the battalion's backup. It can prevent so much incoming damage for the wearer and his team, but it's done so in a perfectly balanced way. So with all of this laid out in front of you, why is the battalion's backup the best? It's like I've said, it's a stopgap for every damage source in the game, which can let a team maintain a defensive hold or make a serious push. This is the key with the battalion's backup. You buy you and your team more time. You take longer to kill, which gives you more time to push or to hold. It's an incredibly powerful upper hand to have. And if you pair the battalion's backup with a medic using any kind of medigun, Good luck stopping that! Heals combined with damage reduction is 
very hard to stop. This is probably the most powerful combination of items in the game, because not only is a lot of damage being prevented, but it can be more easily matched by healing sources so it's a lot closer to a net zero loss. Also, fun fact, the resistive bubbles from the vaccinator stack with the battalion's backup. Grenade launcher pipes go from 100 damage down to 25 with a vaccinator bubble, and then down to 16 with the backup. 16 damage with a freaking grenade launcher pipe. Why are we not using the battalion's backup more often? And that's, that's just one example. Imagine pairing the battalion's backup with other banners. Don't even get me started. What can stop you? With the backup, you can potentially affect your entire team with its passive buffs. Buffs that can prevent or reduce most of the things that would otherwise shut down an effective push or hold, including sentry nests, sniper headshots, crits in general, sticky spam, projectile spam in general, air blast reflex, you know, damage in general. The battalion's backup is better than the sticky bomb launcher, the sniper rifle, the rocket launcher, the scatter gun. Every big boy, big dick, comp prey, slam a jam, nut gun gets its wings fucking clipped by the battalion's backup. That's why it's the best item. Fuck you. <laughs> and on top of this, the battalion's backup's effects are passive, meaning you don't have to be actively dealing damage to make use of them, unlike the buff banners, mini crits, and the conqueror's health on hit. Why do people not use this thing? The only thing that can stop the battalion's backup is pure focus fire. That's the backup's Achilles heel. You can still take damage, and you can still be killed just not as easily. Plus, if your team is uncoordinated, or if you are running solo, then the battalion's backup is much more easily stomped out, because it's just you the enemy team has to worry about being hard to kill. Not everyone else all at once. And there is only one exception to the backup's damage resistance. <laughs> only one hard counter to this thing. <laughs> it's one true nemesis on the battlefield. <laughs> Yeah, you can still get fucked by a spy, so watch out. A backstab just turns off the battalion's backup, and poof! All that time building the banner and coordinating are snuffed out in an instant. Hey, I said it was balanced, right? That's just another one of those reasons why. Oh yeah, you can survive most taunt kills as an overhealed heavy while under the effects of a battalion's backup, but that's just a random extra, pay no mind to that, it's not that useful. So to wrap this all up, the Battalion's Backup is the best item in the game because 1. It reduces a lot of incoming damage for you and your team, which will buy you more time to make a good push or a good hold. Time is everything in TF2, and the longer it takes for you to die, the more likely you are going to win a fight. 2. It blunts the sharp edges on the most powerful weaponry and mechanics in the game, giving you and your team a golden opportunity to turn the tide. And 3. The item is well balanced. This whole thing shush. It provides all of these amazing upsides at the fair cost of a damage dealing or mobility enhancing secondary for the soldier. And it takes 600 damage to charge it. I simply cannot stress how underrated this item is. Have I not shown enough? Have I not given you what you want? Look at what I've just given all this shit laid out in front of you. Go play with it. Go use it. Go.